Yo, what is it guys? Welcome to day three. If you made it to day three, hopefully you guys enjoyed day one and two. Uh, day three, we're gonna go ahead and put our render that we made in day two, our render that we made in day one, and our filters and stuff that we did in day two, put it inside this banner and make a uh, background. So uh, basically, we're gonna be talking about blending, lighting, and like finalized touch touches that like make your stuff look good. Uh, so I'm gonna start off with, uh, you know, I did change the CC color right here, so I don't bug out. I'm like, oh my god, you changed stuff. No, I only changed the CC color from pink from day two. You can see right here, it was pink. I uh, changed it to green. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, after you're done, let's get done. Let's get going. You ready to go? Let's do this. So, as you can see, I duplicated my render once and uh, lowered the opacity of it. You can see it behind it a little bit. You can see it right there, you know, you can see it. And uh, how do you duplicate? You can also just go ahead and just go ahead and, you know, right click, duplicate layer. But that's the newbie way. You guys have a new way to do it. You just press Control J on your keyboard and you can see it duplicates it or you can press alt drag so uh, yeah there's your shortcut you can look all cool and stuff you know shortcuts do make you look cool yeah you know the brush thing too you can press control alt and hold it uh, go left to make it smaller and right to make it bigger there's your little shortcut for your brushes yep yep there you go learning shortcuts it's cool so uh, yeah we're gonna go ahead and start off with lighting uh, so what lighting is is basically having lights on top and bottom of your banner to make it look cool uh, flares gets off lights, you know, that's also lighting, you want to mess around with your flares opacity and stuff. But I'm going to show you how I, you know, you know, do with my lighting. So I'm going to take a brush, I'm going to make it as big as my logo, just a little bit more bigger, like so. And I'm going to have this on, uh, like, a screen white. I do have a stock for this, it's like in my white exclusive pack, it's called Ocean Ocean Light and something like that, Ocean Light and Ocean Blue. Uh, these two things are really nice lighting effect stock, so if you want to go ahead and get those, I'm sure they're probably in some other exclusive pack. They're in my white exclusive pack, I'm not going to put in my, uh, you know, current, you know, old one that I have here. But you guys can get this, also it's in the download description. But uh, there are stocks like this that, uh, you know, help with your blending and uh, lighting and stuff, I meant to say. So, uh, yeah, but I'm going to do it the alternative way, because, you know, you want to do it so you, 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 know, you have it, you know, that feeling. So, uh, <laughs> alright, what the hell am I talking about? You want to go ahead and make a new layer. And uh, right above the render, you want to go ahead and press B on your keyboard. You have your brush. And on your new layer, you want to hit it once on that white that you have right there. So I'm going to hit it once, like so. And uh, you're going to see, like, a you know, white brush pop out anytime soon. As soon as my Photoshop just stops being a little bitch. All right, there we go. See, you can see, like, it's, like, really white. So you just want to go ahead and dress, drag it up. And you'll see, like, the lighting effect, like, start coming in. Like, oh, I see what he's talking about. You see how it looks, looks really nice on the render and stuff? Kind of looks like a sun is like shining on the top face, and you kind of see these like gradient lines right here. You want to kind of erase those with like a nice, you know, zero hardness brush, and like not erase right on it, so because you're gonna mess up that. You just want to like erase near it so they can like go away a little bit, like so. Did I do it? Yes, did that did well. So now what you want to do is lower the opacity, and this is all what you're rendering your CC. So uh, what you're lighting, you just want to play with the opacity and see what looks good. And I'll show you with mine. I think that looks good to me. You know, like that. And then what I want to do after that is I want to go to my exclusive pack or uh, whatever, and you want to get a flare. And then you want to just go ahead and drag the flare into it right above that one layer that we just did with the brush hit. And then you want to just drag it up like so. I feel like it's hella cool right there in the middle. All right, and then you just have that blue lighting right there, and you can, like, leave it uh, the past the days. You just want to play with it. You could. And then there's, like, your lighting. You know, it has, like, a nice blue lighting. You want to kind of, like, drag some of this down. I want to have, like, shining on the logo. Or the render but this is all your perspective or uh, your you know what you think but this is how you do lighting you want to have lighting in your background and make it look so much better I promise and uh, like I said I have a stock for this you know it's called ocean light so I'm gonna just show you how I do it with that because that's what I do to my speed arts so that's the alternative we're gonna do that on the bottom also so it's not like we're not using that but uh, here we go I have ocean light put this in and uh, it's basically the same exact thing but I just I feel comfortable having this so it looks good at the end um, it can look up at the end with the other one too, but I just, you know, I feel comfortable using this. So I'm going to put it on screen, and uh, opacity, lower it up, or lower it down. There we go. And I'm kind of erase this over here. There we go. Boom. Have this little lump there, erase it. And uh, just lower the opacity a little bit, like I have it. And then I'm going to go into Ocean Blue. I love this, I swear. It's amazing. Drag it into my freaking background banner thing. Put it on top. And put it also on screen. And load the opacity. Gives it a nice color. There we go. 
All right, so now I'm also going to go ahead and uh, hold on. I gotta erase that. You can see the little gradients. You gotta have it look nice. You got to have it look nice. There we go. And so I'm gonna do that lighting thing I talked about on the bottom of it now. So I'm gonna take that brush, hit it once, lower the opacity of it, and uh, you can you'll see the difference in a second. I don't know why it does that a lot. Laggy. I'm going to get rid of these lines on the side of the logo, or the render, because I don't like that. I like it just facing on the bottom only. There we go. Whoa. I got rid of it a lot. Yeah. Okay, I got, I got to go back. Backspace, Control, Alt, Z. You didn't know that if you still go freaking file or edit backwards. Don't be a noob. Learn your shortcuts. Come on. Okay, I'll just do it over again. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to mess up. I don't like messing up. All right, just lower the opacity. And then erase over here. And there we go. And then there's our lighting, guys. It's basically done. I, you know, this ocean blue is kind of like sloppy over here. Got to like fix it up a little bit. But this is only, you know, practice. Uh, you want to make sure you have yours looking good though when you do your lighting and stuff. So let's go on. We've been on lighting for how long now? It's been six minutes. Okay, that's all right. We're not pushing it too much. So uh, let's go into like making the background now. So here we go. We're going to talk about uh, adding, you know, your textures and stuff. So you want to always add your textures behind your uh, render. Uh, it's like not like a rule, but it looks better that way. You can add them in front, but that'll be just doing your render setup all over again, what we did in day two. So I'm gonna take. You want to find your favorite textures and just we're gonna throw them behind the render. And uh, this is where I'm gonna talk about blending now. So blending is when I say when I say blending, that means you know it's kind of like saying how you make your stocks look good in the background. Meaning, uh, you want to lower your opacity a lot because people who have their opacity up a, but, uh, a whole lot don't know that when they put other textures in front of that uh, or above the texture that they just put below it, uh, the one below is going to show a lot because obviously the one you put above it, you know, it's overlaying on each other, so they're going to like, you know, they're going to blend. So you got to make sure you have the opacities looking nice, uh, not too like high, because then it'll just be dumb. So I'm going to show you how I go about stuff. Uh, basically, what I said there is just lower your opacity a bunch when you put your stocks in. That's basically what I said, if you didn't get my uh, my little scientific way of saying it. So uh, I'm going to just merge these th together, and then I'm just going to lower the opacity a bunch. Oh, merge is also control E, if you guys didn't know. Uh, so you can see how you know I lower the opacity a bunch, and it still looks good. You can still see it. It's not noticeable, but when I know it's going to be noticeable when I put more textures on it, because it it's going to look good. I'm going to kind of erase these little lines here, kind of blend it in a little bit more to the uh, background. And uh, after I'm done with that, you can just go add your next texture in. Uh, you can use anything. You can use this. You know, use that. But uh, I, I'm just going to stick with the stuff I know how to use and, you know, play around with. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this in. And uh, texture here. <laughs> and I'll drag to duplicate. And merge these two together. I believe it's this one and this one. Control E. And uh, you just want to, you know, you can play around with the uh, layer style settings also. Mine goes on overlay. Play with the opacity now. Uh, boom. You can kind of see it. It's coming in. Let me just check where it is really quick. Alright, it's just all me blending right now, just looking at my background. Alright, there we go. Looks good. And now I'm going to go to my next one. Uh, what else can I use? I can use this one. Uh, like I said, you don't have to use the same exact ones I use. I'm just, you know, find your favorites. And then start playing around, and so you know when speed arts come around, you can you look good doing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it, merge it, overlay, change the opacity now, and uh, it's you see how it's like basically always like below like 25 and all that cool stuff. Uh, just basically what I'm doing, I'm merging, I'm blending, I'm making it look good. All right, so now when you're done with your textures, you know you can add more if you want, but that looks good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and add some like lens, you know, shiny little you know little circle thingies. I call them like lens flares or uh, lens, dust, dust particles, you know, stuff like that. Uh, you know, you have these, you kind of want to use these because they look really good. Uh, you don't have to, like I said, this is just how I go about it. This is where I use, I use like lens stuff. So, uh, if you use these, you want to like change, you want to like flip around from light in to color to color dodge. You want to like mess around with those uh, layer styles because some, they all give different effects. Light in, you can see it changes to that. You can see more of the particles. Uh, screen, you can like, you know, it's really bright and messes around with your uh, render and stuff. You can like lower the opacity a bunch and make it look cool if you want. Uh, this is all CC stuff too. It looks good on CCs when you put on two different ones, but on this CC, 
I like color dodge because it just like you know you can see it, it's noticeable and uh, like kind of gets rid of like all the other ones and kind of like shows through what's below it also so I'm gonna load the opacity a bunch and it's still gonna be there you can still see it and I'm also gonna like kinda like get rid of some of these like really glowy ones because I don't want them stand out too much and uh, there we go so now you, you, know, you can still see it it's there and uh, basically that's we're going on to the next stock um we can add some sparks oh, this is just me doing the uh, quote unquote speed art thing now I'm just uh, adding my stuff that I usually add that I like and lower my opacity and uh, maybe put it up a little bit so I can actually see the effect there we go alright go to exclusive pack uh, go to my stocks add some you know you can add just things you like uh, this is basically me just doing the speeder like I said I just can't I gotta keep on repeating it because I'm like don't want you guys to be like what are you talking about what are you doing basically what I'm doing is blending I'm just lowering the opacity uh, I'm looking at like the back also to make sure I can still see it there but I can also see it in the logo and it looks good and uh, you know change around with these the layer styles you can find new styles like that or you know find new ways it can look good the stocks I'm talking about and uh, maybe lower the particles I don't like it too much showing on the logo lower it some more alright there we go and uh... okay what else what else do I got here uh, you can go back and add some stuff behind it I'm gonna add this behind my stuff uh... you know here we go and boom I'll drag to duplicate I'll drag and I'll drag that second one right here is needs to be pulled out a little bit more go ahead and merge these two together and it uh, looks good on normal right if you lower the opacity uh... you can change around like I said sometimes I like it on lightened so if I put it on light and you can see what it kinda does and like kinda you can show shows more of the back it kinda like sees through a little bit uh... through like the little fire flare thingy majiggers I'm gonna lower the opacity just to make it blend real nice so it's still there, you can still see it, but it's just blended inside, so it looks real nice and cool. Alright, I'm gonna probably lower it a little bit more, but I'm just gonna erase these like excess line thingies that I can see. Lower the opacity. And there we go. Alright guys, so we're basically done with you know making the the background. Uh this is how I'm just gonna pause it right here. Not pause, I'm just gonna stop you know adding stocks. I like how it looks right here. Uh, maybe I'll add some other stuff, you know, maybe I'll add something else to make it look good, actually. I know some stuff. Particles. This looks good. I think I have that in my other pack, too. Not this, this. Here we go. Throw that in there. There we go. <clears throat> Lower the opacity a little bit. And, uh, yeah, you can add some more particles if you want. But I'm going to stop there. Now I'm going to teach you guys basically the finalization or how to make your background look a little bit more cleaner. So what you want to do is take your top, top stock, the first, the last one you use, like the last one. And then you want to hold shift and go click or drag your scroll bar all the way to the bottom and so you like see where your you know, your back color is. You want to click on that. You want to press control J, control E. What that does is just going to duplicate your whole entire banner and this one little uh, this layer. And so you can add some filters and stuff to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you guys, you know, blur. Uh, motion blur, lens blur, Gaussian blur. You can use all of them. Uh, Gaussian blur as the one I'm going to use right now. And I'm going to change my radius to 2.3 or 2.4. doesn't matter, really. Uh, these are my settings. What I do is load my opacity to about 35. So this is like finalization and making it look nice and clean and cool and stuff. Uh, so you can see right here, like, everything is just merging and making it look really, really nice. So if I uncheck it, you can see, like, everything's like, sharp and stuff. Uh, so right here you can see it's like really sharp but if I add this it just blends it and makes it look really really nice uh, gives it that nice little really nice cool feel like it looks professional uh, so I'm gonna click on the top one again I'm gonna do this again so control J E and then I'm gonna go to filter blur uh, Gaussian blur I'm gonna change my radius to 1.3 I'm gonna go to my eraser tool that's me placing clicking a, uh, E on my keyboard I'm gonna make the eraser as big as my logo like so. I'm going to change the opacity of the eraser up here to about 40, 45, and hit it once on the render that we, uh, or the layer that we just added the 1.3 uh, Gaussian Blur to, and then I'm going to lower my opacity to about 25. And what that's going to do is blend the background a little bit more and uh, have the logo pop out a little bit more. So uh, that's basically it, guys. You know, 
there's other stuff you can do, like you can do the, uh, it's called like glitch effect, I'll show, I'll show you it just because I could, uh, hold shift, do it again, make another layer, uh, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna hold M, or press M on my keyboard, and I'm gonna bring up this tool right here, the rectangle, uh, rectangle tool, I don't know what the hell that word says, I don't even try this, marquee, marquee tool, and uh, if I go like this, if I make like a really skinny uh, rectangle, I can press uh, right click via layer cut, uh, press V on my keyboard and move tool is the move tool and I can like move it like a little bit down and you can see the layer right here it kinda looks like it's glitchy like a I don't know how to say it but if I do it again I gotta make sure I have to go if I wanna do it again I gotta make sure I click on that uh, that uh, that duplicate that we just did and then we gotta do it again I can do it again so I'm gonna do it again layer cut press uh, V on my keyboard and then drag it down and I'm gonna do it again V layer cut Oops, I gotta make sure I click on that duplicate. Uh, press V on my keyboard. And there we go. And then one more time for good measure. Boom. V layer cut. And this is just, you know, optional. Uh, there's other stuff you can do. You can look up tutorials and that kind of stuff for like finalizing backgrounds. And then you wanna do is merge it together. Uh, con uh, control E. And then load the opacity. It just like blends it in a little bit. And uh, yeah, there's your little secondary finalization that you can do. And then yeah, so basically that's our 3D background. It looks nice, it looks really good, and uh, you know it's real basic, but it's just learning the ropes, guys. Uh, tips that you can take from this video is just basically lower your opacity and start blending a little bit. Always make sure you fix your lighting and stuff and all that cool stuff. And uh, let's say, oh, I should add something. Let's say if your render is like really dark in one spot, you want to go ahead and just uh, have your where your render is. This is the render on the top. If I just you know uncheck it and then check it uh, this is the render on the top I, I make a new layer above it I make sure I clip it so I right click clipping mask and let's see if like this part is like really dark take your brush so it'd be your, your, your B tool and then have your uh, color be like a nice white and then just go ahead and just go over where you think it's like really dark so I'm gonna say like there and there is dark and then what you want to do is you want to change your style uh, your layer style from normal to soft light and what that will do is like basically brighten up that spot that you wanted to brighten up. So uh, yeah, you should do that before you do all this blending stuff, because then you really can't see what I'm doing. Uh, there we go. Hopefully, you know there. So you see, it's like really bright there now. Let's say it was like really dark before. Uh, it wasn't for me because my CC I fixed it up with the render. But let's say you didn't, you don't want to go back to the CC and you just want to like fix the lighting a little bit and all the dark spots. You just add that. Do what I did, and uh, you can just lower the opacity to make sure it's like you know up to par with all the other uh, stocks and uh, all the other pieces above or around the logo or whatever so uh, that's basically what you can do if you have like a dark spot in your render and you don't feel like doing uh, fixing your CC all over you see yeah, just add a soft light and just uh, color with your white brush and then just lower the opacity and blend it in a little bit and uh, yeah so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial uh, it's been three days or three days for you it's one day for me basically so uh, yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed and three days you know that we just did this tutorial. Hopefully, you guys like became a better graphics designer or 3D background designer. So, uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed. I said, how many times did I say that? Holy shit! <laughs> That's annoying. It's annoying me. I'm sorry. I know. I know it's annoying you. All right. So, I'll end the video right now. I'll see you guys later. Sister, you out. Peace.